fact, I call it my second job. The sense of accomplishment is unlike anything that I've ever done. Hi, my name is Johnny Aprea. This is my son, Callan, my daughter, Callie. We are all part of an international Dragon Boat team, and we are about to participate in the Hong Kong International Race. This is our pre-race prep session. So before every race day, we come out, get together, and do some race pieces. I arrived in Hong Kong in July of 2007, just after the Dragon Boat Festival. And when I arrived, new friends that I had met said, oh, you just missed Dragon Boat Festival, but we think you would really enjoy the sport. Next year, you should race with us. So the following year I did, and it's gone from there. The first year I paddled a Dragon Boat, it was terrible. It's definitely different from other boats. Paddling a Dragon Boat, the paddle you hold in your hand is not connected to the boat. Not only in rowing are you sitting facing backwards, but in Dragon Boat you're facing forward. I really struggled with the technique. I was trying to use muscles that aren't typically used primarily for Dragon Boating, and it took me a while to become comfortable with the seating position, with holding the paddle, the teamwork involved. It's not something that you would normally do in life. Every year we do eye dotting to awake the dragon at the beginning of our season. Before every race, I wet the head of the dragon to cool the dragon, hopefully have good luck during the race. I read the history online, I think there's a Wikipedia page about it, and looked into how the rice dumplings came about, what, what the drum symbolizes, what the boat symbolizes, and why the festival happens every year. I've participated in a number of team sports, and dragon boating is different in that everyone needs to do the same thing together at the same time. We all cross the finish line together. The results aren't determined by one person in the boat, it's collection. Over the years of participating, I just became more and more enamored with the sport and wanted to participate, and so I didn't give up. Uh let him down. I started dragon boating right before my daughter was born. So I have pictures of my daughter in, in diapers sitting on the front of a dragon boat. So they have known the sport their entire lives. They've never been forced to do it, and that's their choice. But if they are going to pick a sport, I can't think of a better one than dragon boat. And you learn a lot about people, you learn how to work with people, to understand the culture behind the sport. Winning a dragon boat race is one of the best feelings I've ever experienced in sport because of the amount of effort that it takes to be successful. It's not something that you can just throw together and expect success immediately. It takes teamwork, it takes time training together, it takes time training personally as well. Anytime I, I travel, I always look to see wherever we're going if there's a Dragon Boat team and if they're training and if it's possible to train with them. It happens in the US, it happens all over Europe. Uh, Japan, I know, is very active. Australia, of course. And it's a great way to meet people, and it's great that the sport has gone global. And I've participated in a lot of sports over my life at a high level, and dragon boating has by far been one of the most rewarding. And I hope to continue to do it for many years to come.